Chapter 6, Creating Reports and Mailing Labels. A lot of the things you learn in Chapter 5 with forms are going to be this, pretty much the same for reports. For instance, I'm going to click on the report I want to create for which table. So I'm going to use the suppliers table. So I'm going to select it. In the Create tab, we have a report section. We're just going to do a plain Jane report. So it's a very simple one step. Click Report. There you have it. Um, Again, just like in forms, I can go to design view and I can pull down the report footer if I would like. Grab my A, big A, little A label button, draw a rectangle and type in my name. I can also change the theme here if I would like. It's kind of boring. see what this looks like. And I go to report view and see what it did. Um, one of the main difference before between report and forms is in a form you can go and you can add records. In a report it's pretty much just for viewing and printing. You cannot add from the report area. So if I wanted to add a record I need to go into the table and add it before creating the report. Now that was just a very simple basic auto report. Just like in, um, I'm going to go ahead and close this, just like in um, forms, I'm going to name it suppliers report, we could go into design view and design exactly how we want it to be. It's a little more cumbersome, it's going to take you longer. So for this class with the basics of access and the basics of reports, don't even worry about doing that unless you would like. Um, again, there's the report wizard just like in forms. And the main reason I use the report wizard is if I wanted to grab a couple of fields from this table and a couple of fields from that table. So I could have fields from all three of these tables. And remember, if the directions don't tell you what to choose for, um, for a particular um, step in the wizard, just keep the default. So we're going to create one for the products. And this time, actually, we're just going to use all the fields here. We're just going to go from one table. And I'm going to um, not change a thing name it products report and finish it there it is um, I've already saved it in the wizard the last thing I want to show you with reports is how to do mailing labels now the only table that I would really do a mailing label for is suppliers um, so I'm going to go to the labels button and you know whatever box of labels you have you would choose here but you should leave the default for now with the Avery you can change your font. Again, don't make it too big because um, you could have problems with it all not fitting on the label. So for this one, I'm just going to leave it. And then I'm going to go ahead and add. So I want supplier name in the beginning, just like an address label at the very top. Press enter, and I'm going to have street address. Enter, city. I'm going to put in the comma and the space. And then I'm going to add state. And I'm just going to put zip, the postal code, right up here on the same line, just for space reasons. Go ahead and hit next. I'm not going to sort them by anything. Now well, I could sort them by supplier name and just put them in order alphabetically. And we're just going to leave labels and finish it. If you get this error, um, it's just saying some of it might not fit depending on the size label. I'm okay for this because we're not actually printing them. But it's a very easy way to create labels right out of your data from an access database. Again, once it's in the um, in the report showing up on your screen you can't do much changing that's got to be done in the table first remember typically the reports are just for printing and viewing data i hope you learned um, quite a bit about reports in this session and the assessments you have to do are just assessment two and three in chapter six let me know if you have any questions